it was exciting because she had started to see that and she was making progress and she was starting to not want those things anymore because she was journaling and she was seeing how nasty foods make her body feel nasty you know clogging foods hello make her body feel clogged you know my mother's recently made the connection she's in a huge coffee drinker we won't say the word addict but we will just say she enjoys the coffee okay and what she really likes to do is put full fat whole dairy creamer in there okay and it makes her very mucousy almost immediately after she has it will she get so clogged up that she her eyes start to, to close in and she can't breathe she's coughing up basically mucus and her nose closes up it's gross and um and she started to make this connection and I, I she's like well i just don't want just black coffee or i don't like you know and and i'm trying to say like what about like a coconut based creamer what about let me show you how to make this hemp milk it's very easy and she started trying to do that and seeing that that is a substitute that she can do and feel good about you know and it takes people as long as it takes people to learn whatever step it is you know maybe it's with your relationships or your job or whatever everybody's hopefully trying to, to make better choices for themselves and it takes you as long as it takes you you know but the point of this video is this what I was thinking was picture yourself how are you going to feel when you do cross over to the other side the other side where you can see yourself as who you want to be you know not addicted to food not addicted to bad patterns not addicted to to toxic relationships you know how are you going to feel what's it going to feel like what would it feel like if you felt like playing with your kids if you woke up and you felt like doing exercise if you woke up and you jumped you could almost jump out of the bed that's how I feel on the other side you know that's why every day I come to y'all and every day I remember how sick I was and I remember how far I've come and I'm so thankful for that that I'm able to now have a platform to share that and try to help people wherever they are and however I can you know but how's that gonna look how are you gonna feel you know are you going to feel more confident in yourself that that you're not you know it all kind of intertwines like maybe you feel so cruddy about yourself that you even feel like you have to take abuse off other people or you have to take abuse at work or you have to think well you know i guess that's what i deserve you know or, or you're waiting on someone to say they love you so you can feel worthy of love because it's not coming from the inside if you're at that place that is a very shaky it's like it's like standing on top of a house of cards because people can love you one minute and hate you the next or be very indifferent and if you're holding your breath waiting on someone else's love to bring you up to loving yourself that's a long road i don't think you're ever going to get there i did that my whole life but when you love yourself and you truly love yourself you are in control do you know what i mean the, the same place of, of being in the very needy part of, of needing other people's love to bring you up is the same place when somebody says you are not worthy for X reason. You're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not smart enough. You don't do enough. You don't. I've got some, some situations in my life and no matter how much I do, I can do and do and do. And it's not enough. It's never enough. And I have to bring that back in, you know, reel it back in suck it back up and remind myself that I'm doing the best as I can and that's what I need to do today the best I can the best I can for everybody else and doing the best to be the best I can for me every day you know and that is a position of power how is it going to look when you get to the other side you know when you get enough loving you to where you feel like you're worth going to the grocery store area for just you and not your kids and husband and and your kids friends and and your daughter's boyfriend and pack of friends and everybody else and guess where you are on the list way down here at the bottom if you're even on there what's gonna happen is you're gonna deplete yourself and you can no longer give to the people that love you and they are so used to you putting yourself last they don't even realize they're taking advantage
they're really not taking advantage. You're teaching them that that's the way you want to be treated, right? I want to teach people to treat me with respect because they see me showing my self-respect. Self-respect, you know? Thinking about tonight for dinner, for example. Maybe you're on your lunch break now or it's before work and get up before the world gets up. Get up then. That is the that is the hours to grab hold of a new you. Before the day starts, be, before the world comes in and dictates what you're going to be that day, get up that early and do some kind of body movement. Get up that early and do some kind of something for you, whether it's you're going to take an extra minute to actually scrub the pores on your skin. I'm talking about little stuff that we don't even bother to do, but we'll do it for everybody else. Take that time to plan. What are you going to have? for dinner that night when it is, you know, the twilight hour, the bewitching hour when everybody's hungry and everybody's tired and they're ill and they're griping and everybody needs you, mama, 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 or whoever you are to them, you know, or daddy or whatever. What's it going to look like when you get home and you're in those hours? It's going to look good and it's going to look like success if you've got up in the morning and you've planned your day. You know, you've got a plan. So I'm just saying, Start thinking about that, you know, so that you can be where you want to be and you can look back and say hello from the other side after I've tried a million times, you know. Stop with the trying and start with the doing, you know. Doing a step every day. Doing, what is it this week, today is Monday, it won't be when you see this, but what is it you can do this week to change up your game. Are we still living in the forever transition stage? You know? I'm sorry, that was very an excited tone I was using. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's just exciting when I see people actually doing it and I look back and remember and I know how it feels to be getting so much done before even 7 o'clock in the morning with a plan and that later in the day I can be on leisure mode and still getting my results, you know? Not in a panic, not thinking the world's going to take it away from me because I didn't take the time to plan ahead. Take your life back and take it back in the wee hours of the morning, you know? Get, there's a lot to say about getting up early. Or maybe you work all night and you're going to get up early before your day starts is the point, you know, before the world creeps in, you know. So today, may you start thinking about that and thinking about how it's going to look when you are there. When you're on the other side, you know, looking back. Love yourself up to that point, you know. And if you don't love yourself yet, you know, it's like that song says, let me love you until you can love yourself. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with people that love you. Self-talk yourself. Maybe pretend like you're two different people. And when you're talking to yourself, be a nurturing, loving person, you know. So may you love yourself today. See you later, alligators.